just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one. Back up in this bitch for another rant. <laughs> wow. Um, I had to bring back the series Changing Faces uh, because this this particular group really made me angry. Like, so fucking furious when I heard their latest shit. And I know I haven't done Changing Faces in a while, so I'll explain it to some of my new subscribers. Changing Faces is basically a series uh, exposing a lot of artists that um, come out real raw, real hard. Or they'll, they'll have something that captures a huge particular audience and then all of a sudden they'll do a, a total 180 and and um just put out some fucking stupid shit and that's what this series is about i've done a few changing faces in the past and um yeah this one is about a group from right here in jersey that i idolized for years called E-Town Concrete. I've spoken on them before. One of my favorite rap core bands. And um, they've been around since <clears throat> the mid-90s. And they put out, um, in the beginning of their career, they put out uh, two demo tapes, which are kind of hard to get. Um, and um, they're usually known around here as the red demo tape or green uh, demo tape. One of them is called um, Just... I think it's called Just Move It, and another one's called Prepare for Combat. I forget, but um, y'all let me know if I'm wrong about that shit. Um, <clears throat> then they generated a buzz. They came out with their first album called Time to Shine. Now, um, this is their first album. This is the first pressing of it. I know not a lot of motherfuckers have this. This shows you how much of a hardcore fucking fan I am. This is the first ever pressing. A lot of people here in Jersey got the one that's, um, it's a common cover. I'll, um, you know what? I'll just insert it right here. That's the cover that, um, a lot of dudes around here in Jersey know and have. And then they repressed it a few years back. But this shit right here is so fucking rare. I haven't even seen this shit on eBay. I've seen the demo tapes more on eBay than this. I only seen this like I think once on eBay. I've seen the demo tapes a few times pop up. But um this goes to show you how much of a fucking huge fucking fan I am. And um I haven't got it autographed by the dudes as you can see like right there. I got it autographed when I met these guys years back at Menlo Park Mall. Um, this album is fucking insane, man. Um, I know a lot of my subs are into rap core, rap metal, just metal in general, hardcore, New York City hardcore. Yo, you need to check out Time to Shine. Search it on um, YouTube. Search E-Town Concrete Time to Shine and just scroll through. This fucking album got me through so much, man. Fucking love this shit. Then they came out with this EP, the Fuck the World EP. Only four songs. Another one that it, it's just fucking ill. This shit, I think it's about like 10 to 12 minutes long, but yo, just listening to this shit, very heartfelt lyrics, Dope fucking lyrics, um, heavy breakdowns. It's just fucking, uh, I, 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 it's just fucking ill. This is another thing that is super rare by these guys. Um, this is a demo CD of some of the shit that was coming up on their uh, 
second full length album called The Second Coming. This album too, fucking hard, man. Dope fucking lyrics. My man Anthony Martini spit some real life shit, you know, and um, fucking love The Second Coming too. This is another memorable album. I remember bumping this all the fucking time in the early 2000s. You couldn't tell me shit about E-Town Concrete, okay? This shit, the Jersey Devils import, this shit is cool. It just had, you know, um, Baptism that was off their, their forthcoming album. One of my favorite tracks off that album. Um, the World Is Yours, which is a Nas cover, fucking ill cover. Um, has Shady on there, which was on the, the second coming album and the EP before that. It has Firstborn, which is off of the second coming, and the Firstborn demo. Then it has a song called Do You See. Um, I think that was um, one of the early, early, early um, recordings. Yeah, Do You See was an early recording. Dope fucking track. Okay, this is where Changing Faces starts to bloom, okay? This album right here called the renaissance dope fucking cover this is right here in jersey um a lot of y'all that live in the northern central area know exactly what that is um <sighs> this album has some dope tracks on there but <laughs> you can see that they were going for that mtv audience with some of the fucking singles that they had like mandibles there was a video on it uh, um, on MTV U, I think it made it on, or MTV Two, excuse me. Um, and then Punch the Walls was another video. Anthony Martini, the lead, a vocalist of the group, started harmonizing and doing all this shit. Um, but this did have some dope tracks on it. it had uh, tracks like Metroid, I love Baptisms, fucking ill, Battle Lines. Um, In the Heart of the Wolves is the last track. That that track is dope too. But again, you know, <laughs> this album showed a lot of um, Anthony repeating verses like Amanda Bulls. Um, what else? Um, More Than Incredible. It, it just, just a lot of the tracks just lacked that heart and emotion like he had in, in in the previous works and instrumentally it, you can tell this is it, they were looking for a different fucking crowd but um yeah I'm gonna keep going <sighs> made for war this album came out uh, 2004 and um, this was supposed to be the last album and uh, <laughs> they um, made a uh, statement saying that they didn't want to get lumped with the rest of the trash. That's why they were hanging it up. And um, again, just like the Renaissance, this uh, album had a few tracks that, that were hard, that were dope. But uh, again, um, it just didn't have that same fucking heart that the original shit had and um you know they hung it up i was sort of upset i was mad as hell because these dudes really did a lot for me um uh, in high school and after high school mostly after high school but um yeah I, w I was you could say that i was heartbroken and a lot of jersey fans were heartbroken over the last couple years, they, they've been doing um, reunion shows, you know, once a year around uh, Valentine's Day. They'll, they'll um, do a whole weekend of shows, and um, that's cool. You know, it, they generate a lot of money. They got to because Mad Heads come out to go see them. They put, perform like a one and a half to two hour set, and, um, you know, they bring the house down. I'll fucking admit it. Um... But let's fast forward to now, the main reason why I'm making this fucking video. Um, they 
put out an EP apparently, and um, my boy Mike he he hit me up. He goes, "Yo, Solomon, um, E Town Concrete um, put out an EP. You can listen to their new song on YouTube. It's called um, Someone Tell 'Em or Somebody Tell 'Em. I forget." And um, <laughs> It was funny. It's a funny story. He actually wanted to hear my reaction on the phone, but he wasn't saying it outright. He was just like, yo, E-Town came out with a new song. So I was like, okay, I'll check it out later. So we were talking and he kept bringing up E-Town. So I said, all right, you want to hear what I got to say about it? He's like, yeah. So <laughs> I played this track, man. And oh God, I just... I don't even know what to say, guys. Um, it just it just breaks my heart that after eight years, these guys come out with 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 with, with something that sounds like that 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 should have that should be on, on a top forty type shit. Um, you know, and I, I went further and I streamed the album and. It, it, it really, it really is just, I can't even describe it. You know what, I'm going to try and describe this EP. It's only four tracks. I'm going to try and describe them as best as I can. Um, let me see if I remember the tracks. Someone tell them. Let me tell you, man. The, as soon as I heard the beginning, <laughs> when Anthony Martini starts going, Oi, 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 oi. Oy, 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 oy. I, I, I was done. I was done. If anybody is an E-Town fan, like a hardcore E-Town fan from back in the day, <laughs> you know that he would have never been doing that shit. And I, I it just... The, the lyrics and, and the um, structure of the song just reminded me of fucking um, Mandibles. Just him... Um, rapping and um, you know having the sing songy t type hook. Not so not so much uh, mandibles, but um, what's the other one? Punch the walls, like I said, and then um, so many nights, shit like that. Um, what else was on there? Uh, scraps. <laughs> This track, Scraps, um, started out, you know, I thought it was going to be hot. Um, <clears throat> this track reminded me of Mandibles. He's rapping, and um, <laughs> it just goes into this whole repetitive shit that I can't stand that E-Town started to do uh, with the Renaissance. You know, he, he'll rap like a few bars. Then when the break, when the hard riffs come in, um, he just uh, repeats himself constantly. Scraps I was given, scraps I was given. Look at what I did with the scraps I was given. Scraps. I mean, and then it's just it's just redundant after that because he repeats the same fucking verse, and uh, it, it almost seems sounds like a pre-chorus. That's how short the verse is. And by the way, I know that they they did that on their first album. End of the Rainbow, but that song was hard as fuck. You could, you just could not deny it. I know that they did that. So any of you that are gonna bring that up, just save it. Um, what else? Solid Ground. Uh, that track. If anything, that's the only track I like on this EP. Um, it goes hard. Um, Anthony harmonizes on the the fucking chorus again. Um, I. I just feel real weird about that shit. Um, I, I, if anything, that's the one track that I like from it. And then the title track, Heart of Stone. Now, <laughs> the only way I could describe this shit is... Um, it, it, this seems like it would be heard on a fucking Coke commercial. That, I mean... It, the song is just, I, I, I just don't like it at all, man. It just eats 
eats me alive that this is fucking E-Town Concrete, a band that I just, like I said, I just fucking idolized these motherfuckers for years. And, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, this, this last song sounds like it would be on a Coke commercial or, 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 um, at the end of a movie, like when the screen is about to fade out, it's like, you know, like the, the person looks at the camera and winks and smiles and is like, do you, do you, do you, do you? Have a heart of stone. Do you, do you, do you, do you have a heart of stone? Fade to black. All in all, um, these guys, you know, if they're planning on coming back, they need to come with something harder than this shit. They need to go back, listen to what made them them, and do that shit. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be... Uh, mainstream and all that shit i mean that's essentially everybody's dream but do it your fucking way you don't need to cater to the shit especially when they didn't want to get lumped in with the trash and you know they, they're putting out shit that that put them in that category in the first place so um yeah let me tell you i i i, I love the early e-town concrete shit Shit like that right there. Second coming. Love that shit. But um, all the extra shit, come on, man. Guys, the formula is there. You guys had it. These guys, let me tell you, out of all the rap metal, rap core bands, whatever, these dudes, I, you know, I held them close to my heart because not only because I live in Jersey, but because they had their own, they paved their own lane in this whole in the whole um rap core shit because there was a lot of bands that started changing started doing other shit but i could always go back to these guys but apparently with their new shit let me tell you man i, I i'm just not a fucking fan and um if any of you e-town motherfuckers e-town fanboys not e-town concrete themselves but E-Town fanboys are going to come on here, call me all sorts of names, save it. Let me tell you, I'm a real fucking fan. I just proved it to you motherfuckers. So, I got every right in the world to fucking say what I'm saying. So, that's it. Hope y'all enjoy Changing Faces. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Peace, bitches.